Hey guys, I'm here at the Aquarium Co-op today. We're going to play with the new DJI Pocket Osmo. I'm here to take some pictures, but since I had this, let's take some B-roll. And then when I go home, take a look at my tanks, give you guys an update, because a lot's been going on. I got a new fish-ish, and I'll update you guys on my tanks. So sit tight, and let's see what this guy can do. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. Right. For the record, lab on me from all the way. All right, guys, the rainbow tank. Now, after I got back from Hawaii, it was a mess. Everybody had ick, especially the Herbalax rod eyes, which, as you can see, they're doing a lot better now. Notice the Fluval heater there. It was set to 86 degrees, dumped a bunch of ick in there, and it was gone within three days. Val is still growing, not too fast as it was last time. Um, I'm happy because I don't want to go crazy again. I pulled it up for a reason. Um, I noticed these guys right here, they're a lot more colorful than they were before. Maybe they like the 83 degrees that I set it down to. Uh, maybe they like the Zeiss filter, free plug. Um, the Zeiss filter is actually doing pretty good. It gives a lot of flow, as you can see from the top there. Um, and it's still cleaning itself. Other than that, everybody's still alive, missing a few ember tetras probably. I think my killifish male bit the dust, but the rainbows are alive, which is still a good thing cool looking tank still i'm glad it's still going strong and um i do want to change it up i'll talk to sam uh, maybe he can adopt some of my rainbows so i can put something else in there but that's for another day um let's move on to the other tank all right here it is the mud skipper tank originally it was my shrimp tank the shrimp is still in there as you can see um, the day the mud skippers came, I just broke down this whole tank and just threw a bunch of rocks in there. Thought it'd be cool to leave like a little waterfall going. And he actually likes to sit under there. Um, he's not under there right now. I have no idea where he is. But I'll insert some B-roll. Um, so far, I do notice some missing shrimp. So he's eating some of it, uh, which I don't mind at all. Plenty to go around. He does eat bloodworms. This is fresh water. The person I got it from, Aquascaping 101, he has kept them in fresh water for over a year, I think. Yeah, this is the, oh, let me see, let me back up a little bit. I don't want to get Cory in the shot. There he is. <laughs> but yeah, uh, very cool. The, the background is just basically Catapa leaves just piled up on top of each other right there. Um, some rocks I found in Las Vegas, all those rocks actually. And th these branches are a gift from the guy that won the aquascaping contest at AE. So this is a bunch of that. Uh, a couple of spiderwood pieces from Aquarium Co-op. And this this tank was actually a feature tank that Corey was talking about way back when, when this thing was on sale for like 25, 20 bucks, or something like that. Uh, works pretty good. Filter crapped out real quick. Uh, lights pretty decent. I think there's a review on the Real Fish Talk channel. I'm gonna put that link up above right there. And uh, yeah, let's move on to the other tanks. All right, so here's a sphere tank. It's a 26 gallon. It houses a lot of my rainbow fish. And I put some um, chili rasboras in there, some panagaras. It just, I just let it grow out of control. Don't really do much to it, but dose it with easy green. Um, I should definitely dose it with easy iron because there's uh, dwarf aquarium lilies in there But other than that, I just let it go um, Change the water every like two weeks or so uh, all the fish in here are pretty small when I came back from Hawaii I think some of the female fricadas are just in really in bad shape, but I think they passed on now Only the males are alive as you can see there. This tank is really hard to film because of the sphere shape But it's just a bunch of val um, let's see, back there is just another piece of wood, a bunch of pseudomogils. Oh, look at that. I actually got them. Um, a lot of cherry shrimp and some amanos in there, but nothing too special. It's just the tank is special itself because of the round shape. All right, this is the group tank as it sits today. I apologize for the Christmas music, but yeah, 
um, lots and lots of algae except for on this hydrocaudal Japan here uh, that's new but as you can see algae lots of algae so while I was gone in Hawaii definitely the CO2 just died back a little bit and there was just way too much light so I'll spend a lot of time just plucking out this algae there's a new plant right there I think that's how to hydrocaudal verticulata or something like that like I said I'm not really good with plant names but I love that new plant that just looks like little tiny pods that grow up so really love it um, fish doing pretty well everything doing good clown kill is alive pea puffer only one left because the tank froze pretty much while I was gone the heater was turned off and yeah that's about it let's wrap this thing up Thank you.